Hey guys, I have my two week menu and a Costco and Trader Joe's haul to share with you. I'm just going to do my dinners because it gets kind of long if I share the snacks and lunches and all that and plus a lot of them are the same every week anyway. So if you want to see how I do my menu planning, I will put the link below for the video. I am going to make my chicken chili and I'm going to do either cheese quesadillas or tortilla chips. It's whatever I feel like it. That will be one of my slow cooker Sunday meals. And then the other one will be bacon and potato chowder. And I'll probably do my autumn salad with the walnuts and apples in it with that. On Wednesdays, I usually do easy meals because we have church. And my guys have been asking for Philly cheesesteak hoagies. So I got everything to make those and fries. And then cheese tortellini with meat sauce is another easy one that my guys like. And I'll have salad with that. I do, usually anyway, two meatless meals a week. So I have black bean and corn quesadillas with rice. I was going to make those over the last two weeks and didn't end up making them. I have kale pasta with garlic bread, spinach lasagna roll-ups with salad and garlic bread, and black bean and quinoa burritos with cilantro pesto and um, chips with salsa verde. I might mix that up a little bit, I'm not sure. Um, shepherd's pie and biscuits, I think this has been on my menu plan for a little while. It takes a little bit of time to make that and we've been busy a lot so I just haven't made it yet. I have Creole pork with rice and salad. That's what I have out to make today but I might mix it up and do like a Thai pork with peanut sauce. I'm not sure. Whatever I feel like it when I start making dinner is what I'll end up making. I have my sun-dried sun tomato basil pasta with chicken and we'll have salad or vegetable with that. Pesto chicken tacos with rice, pasta fajoule with garlic breadsticks, and we're going to have a date night. I have a lot of these recipes recorded, so I'll put the links below. Some of them I haven't recorded yet, so if you don't see it, it's just because I don't have a video for that. So I'm going to get started and show you my haul. Okay guys, this is everything from Trader Joe's. I got a bag of mixed baby kale. I've never tried this before. This will be for our kale pasta. I usually do Tuscan kale, but they haven't had it the last couple times I've been there. I got a red and yellow bell pepper. I'll put that in with the pasta, and I need it for a couple different things. I got a bag of carrots for the soup, and probably something else. A wedge of Parmesan. We go through a lot of Parmesan cheese in our house. Christian loves it. I got mozzarella cheese. Some will be for the spinach lasagna roll-ups and some will be for the cheese tortellini. I got half and half. This will be for the bacon and potato soup. Two things of Altoids. Three boxes of chicken broth. I am using this to make the soups. I got two boxes of mini beef tacos. My guys love these. Josh asked for a couple boxes of them. I got some French vanilla coffee. And then I got this. I tried this while I was at the store and it's really good. So, yummy. Christian asked for more of these mozzarella cheese sticks. I have two teenagers, so we have processed stuff. But I try to get things from Trader Joe's and Costco that don't have preservatives. But that's just kind of life with teenage boys. You, you kind of just have to <laughs> work with what they will eat and they eat a lot. I got some grape tomatoes. Uh, two things of roast beef for the Philly cheesesteak hoagies. There are no preservatives or anything in this cinch meat, so that's good. I guys love those hoagies. I got Canadian bacon for the bacon and potato soup. Provolone cheese for the sandwiches and there will be some extra. They're pretty big sun-dried tomatoes for the uh, chicken and pasta dish with sun-dried tomatoes that I'm going to make. I just picked up taco shells. I like to keep these in the pantry just in case I decide to switch up what we're having. We got cocoa powder, some organic cheddar cheese for something. I can't remember what that's for. I got two things of from rice and quinoa pasta, some walnuts. I usually snack on these and peanuts those. 
cottage cheese for the spinach lasagna roll-up. I got some tater toss. My guys love these. Josh S for yogurt. And I didn't see any organic yogurt at Costco, but I got this from Trader Joe's. They used to buy this regularly and they really like it. Get some more dishwasher tabs. I think I have enough, but I didn't want to run out, so I grabbed those. I got some veggie chips, two bags, and two bags of barbecue potato chips. I got the two cans of uh, diced and fire roasted tomatoes with green chilies for my taco chili, white kidney beans for pasta fajoule, cheese tortellini for the cheesy tortellini with meat sauce, and frozen corn for the black bean and corn quesadillas and probably something else as well. This is everything I got from Costco. I do have a lot of meat in our freezer and then I have a lot of stuff left over in our pantry because I'm buying such huge packages of everything. So let me go ahead and show you everything I got. I got two, actually four, loaves of multi-green bread. I got some Fuji apple. I got some pears. Two dozen eggs. We still have some eggs, but my, my boys have been making eggs a lot, so I got some more. I got another big thing of toilet paper that lasted for quite a while. We got our Simply Alright a Fry. I got a huge box of oranges. I don't know how many pounds this is. Maybe eight or ten pounds. Quite a few oranges in there. The ones we got last time were really good, but they didn't have the same bag of them that they had last time. I got a box of diced tomatoes. I got some organic Colby Jack cheese for my guys' sandwiches. My guys really love this cheese, so I don't know if you like sliced cheese like this for sandwiches. It's really good. It's creamy and yummy. And then I picked up this organic oven roasted turkey breast. I don't think our Costco had this before unless I just missed it, so I thought I would try that. I like that it's organic and my guys have been liking this kind of stuff lately. John did really like the Black Forest ham from Costco. He likes um, both, you know, from Costco or Trader Joe's, but I got him another pack of that. He has been working a ton, so he takes sandwiches and um, during this time of year he has to pack a lunch. And then I got some more maple syrup. <laughs> I got this oh, I got this mega bag of chocolate chips. Um, this is four pounds and it seems like a pretty good price when you compare how much these normally are. Um, and we go through chocolate chips a lot because I do a lot of baking and making granola bars and everything, but Josh also snacks on them, so sometimes when I go to bake something, I don't have any. So I figured if I get a giant bag, it would last. I got some more Kerrygold butter, some vitamin water. Josh is starting basketball in a couple weeks, so I might actually be going to the grocery store before that, but he wanted me to pick that up for practice. And then I got two bags of kettle chips, um, some veggie straw, skinny pop, um, white cheddar popcorn. I got some more sensitive skin dove. I got baby spinach for the spinach lasagna roll-ups, and I'll use some for salads. And then I got the organic spring mix. I got. Simply orange juice, three bottles of that. I get that every once in a while, and I figured that with the weather changing and everything, a little extra vitamin C will be good. I just need to get one box of almond milk. We had quite a bit left because I, I make smoothies quite a bit, but I haven't been making them every single day because it's a little bit colder. Um, so I didn't need as much, but I did get this for my smoothies the antioxidant blend this is really good it has um, strawberries blueberries raspberries cherries and pomegranate and then i just needed one three i think this is three pounds three and a half pound pack of chicken breast i have meat for everything else in our freezer so i've been trying to work it out so that i only have to get like one or two packs of meat and the packs are usually like 
three to four pounds. Um, and that way I'm not buying, you know, massive amounts of meat every time I go to Costco. So it kind of helps with the grocery budget a little bit. So that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed the haul and I will leave all of the recipes that I have linked below in case you want to try some of them out. Thanks for watching.